Hello, welcome to Aerobics All Star number four video, Getting Into Shape. We're going to start by warming gently up into the upper body, standing with the feet apart, body weight even, pulling through that tummy area. Head nice and relaxed, and we'll start by stretching and warming up into the neck, bringing the side of the head over to the shoulder. Feel your shoulders relaxing, no tension, take it over and center, over and center. Avoid actually throwing your head too far back, lean to the side. That's five and six, seven, hold it here. We're gonna roll shoulders forward and pull back. Relax your arms, elbows are soft. Think of working through the shoulder, stretching the chest out, pinching between your shoulder blades. This is a great warm up for the chest and the upper back. Keep it easy and five, Six. Let's do that for the last set. Press forward and back, forward and back. Four, three, go into your so lunges, press it through and over and over. Not too much of a bend into those knees, just an easy warm up into the joints. Over again, heels are flat, toes are out to the side, press over and over. Let's do four more. One and two, put them together. Here we go. We go center roll, pull back. And it's lunge and over. Again, center, pull back and down into those knees. Again, center and back. Side, again, press, pull back. Let's try that for the last time. Roll it forward and back, out and out. Now take a squat down, everybody, working nicely into the inner thighs. Still warming up the front of the legs. Deeper with those squats. You might want to take your feet out a little bit wider, do so. Be sure that the legs are not too close in though. Ankles, knees in a nice straight line. Keep pressing. Four and three. Now hold the squat. We're going to start warming up into the side of that waistline. Think of reaching the hand down to the front of the knee, gently sliding the other hand up to the side of the ribs. Take it over again. Five and six. The squat and the slide. We go down for two. Take it right and left and squat, over right and left again, down and down, Woo. last time, press, now stay with those lunges, we go out wide, I want you to spread your legs out wider, warming up into those thighs, your ankles, calves, don't let your upper body drop too far forward, stay in an upright position, we've got four and three, Let's add those squats in for two. One and two. Take it right and left again. Down and over. Squat it down and over again. Body weight even. Last time, press, press and hold it right here. Hold the squat down. I want you to point your toes and knees to the front. Allow yourself to bring the legs a little closer in. I'm gonna stay down with those squats. Body slightly to the front, no more than 20 degrees. Hold that tummy in, shoulders relax. Put your hands there, just by the side of the hips. Keep pressing it. And five, six, down four, lifting up. Pressing one, and two, three, and four. Pick it up and down, two. Left leg, here we go, out and press. Two, three, four, roll it up and press. Again, out to the side and down. Two, three, four, moving along. Five and six, seven and eight. Two more. Right leg. Up. Now let's hold it here. Let's take a march on the spot. Drop your arms by the side of the body. Big breath. Inhale. Exhale. One more time, all the way up. And take it down to the side. Putting your hands on your hips. Start by pushing that heel forward. Easy stretch into that lower calf, right down to your Achilles tendon. So take the hands down, push it, snapping those fingers. Allow the arms to come strongly, sitting by the side of the body. Push and push, Woo. and five, six. Let's step out with a cross in front. Step and cross. Long leg, keep flexing out into that foot. Now let's point the foot, point it. And point, four, three, four flexes, four points, four. Let's take it into a point again, push out. And the last time, flex it again, flex it. And point it for the last set, six, 
six. Let's take a march on the spot. Right. Right leg. Elbows pulling back. Push. Push. Now stepping with the feet apart. You're going to take your hands up towards your chin area. A little warm up into the hamstring muscle. Bringing that foot up behind you. Push down strong. Notice how I'm starting to use my arms as well as the legs. Because you're halfway through your warm up. The major muscles are warmed up as well as the joints. So it's okay for you now to use upper body moves. Push and down. Push and down. Five and six. Increase the intensity of those arms by reaching them out to the side. That's it. Pull up. And again. Four more. Keep it up there. One. Whoop. Two. That's three. Take those hands up to your chin and over we go. Four more. Five. Six. One more time. Reach it up and pull it down. Oh yeah. And four. Three. Just the legs. Rest your arms. Push it up. And up. And five. Six. Let's do a step touch in. Here we go. Step across. Take it right over. Slide it. Don't forget those arms. You're going to roll one forward, roll one back. Continue marching, marching, right across with that step. Over we go for five, six, march it on the spot. Take your right foot, pulling back, and that's five, six, another breath, inhale with the arms, breathe, and down, again, and down, two more, all the way up, and down. Last time, reach it up. Stepping out with your right foot, cha-cha-cha. Right foot, cha-cha-cha. And left foot, cha-cha-cha. Right, cha-cha-cha. Stepping forward first. Step two, cha-cha-cha. Do what you like with your arms. Again, two more. Woo! Last time, let's take it across. Step across, cha-cha-cha. Show me some hips. Good. And hips. One more. Last time on the right. March it on the spot. Now it's important for you to refer to the chart just to make sure you are working within your heart rate guideline. The best thing to do is to place two fingers underneath the side of your jaw. Feel your pulse. Count the number of heartbeats for 10 seconds. Multiply that by six. Look at your age and refer to the heart rate guide during your low impact and your high low. Continue marching. Keep it going there. That's five. Ready to do that cha-cha step again. Here we go. Take it right foot, cha-cha-cha. Left foot, cha-cha-cha. Step across and step. Two more forward, reach. Turn it to the side and it's turn. Woo! Take it over. Where are those hips? Two more side. Oh yeah, four to the front. Step it out. Take it front. Front, two more. Step, one more. Back to the side. Over we go. Cross it. Take a bow now. Bow down. Oh yeah. Last time to the front. Take it forward. Woo! Last two. Again, one more. Good work. Let's finish off with a march. Push it strong. Push it. Brett has got a terrific low impact workout for you. Continue marching, keep the intensity going. If you start to feel tight, take it easy. Have a little bit of a rest. Breathing in. And out. Lift it up. And down. One more time. And down. Just a quick exercise to strengthen out into your shins. Tap it, tap. Raise the ball to the feet off the ground. Tap them strong. Continue working through those arms. Push and push it. Hello, low impact. Let's really give it a good go. Take the knees down over the toes. Hold your abdominals in. Let's start with a nice, easy shoulder roll. Pump it up for four. Number three. Really roll those shoulders. Warming up. Two to go. This time, flex the heels, punch those arms. A little bit stronger. Actually, you're really lifting those heels up. 
work into the calf muscles. Let's do four more, then we'll take a march. For one, and two, and three, march it down. Let's go for four, and three, and two. Calf raises, lift it. One, and two, and three. March down again for four, and three, and two. Strong ones, let's go. Up, now let's travel to our right side. March down, one, and two, and three, and four. Lift all, punch, and two, and three. Take it back, let's go. One, and two, and three. Reach tall, one more time. Up, and two, three. March across for four, and three. Get those knees up. Let's go again, for one, and two, and three. Take it back, this time. Let's cut the movement in half. Ready, count four, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Up, take him back, big march. Let's lift, tall. Two, take him back, and up, one, and back. Let's do it two more times. Reach up, for one, two, three, and back. Last time, four, three, two, one. Now a side step, two to your right. Down, and back, no arms. Make sure you turn those knees right down. Come work into those thighs, outside of the leg as well. Then four, sit down for three more. Two to go. Let's set the upper body. Ready? Elbows. Cross. Push. One. And back. Squeeze. Up. Really work into the chest and back. Eight more. There's seven. And six. Five more. Now we're going to do singles, but no arms first. Just the legs. Tap. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. One more set. Eight. Seven. Now add the arms. Two singles, two doubles. One. Two. Doubles. Again, push up. Now from the top, ready, heel pump. Let's go. One, two, three, four, march across. Again, up, take it back, big legs. Double squat, arms down, and back. Doubles again. This time, make the arm match the leg, ready, go. Same arm, same leg, and reach, up. Again, push. Okay, from the top, let's go. Take a one. Three, four, march across. Reach tall, up, and back. Double squat, let's go. Push him down, and back. Two more doubles, sit right down. Last double, single arm, let's reach. Up, doubles go, push. Singles one more, up. Last time for doubles, and march it down. Holding there, the old grapevine move. One leg behind the other, shoulder square, off we go. One, two. And back. Take him back and push. Make sure you keep those knees down. Hold your abdominals in. Four more. And back. Three to go. Two more. Now hold this side. Tap your left foot. Watch, watch. One, two, three, four. Great fine. And back. And hold. Tap. One, two. Off you go. Great fine. And back. Now hold him here. Little tap. Little tap. Add the arm. Reach up tall. Make sure you keep that knee down soft. Let that double arms. Really work into those quads, into the glutes. Pull and pull. Four more to go. Hang on, there's three. Keep going, two more. One more. Let's hold the legs, take the arms right at this time. And reach up. Four more to go. Last three and two. This time, hold those legs down, just your deltoids. Squeeze up and strong. And pull, four more, and three, and two. Let's turn to the other side, holding strong. Back work this time. Squeeze him up, four more. Are you ready to get the leg going? Four, three, two, let's go. Up, and pull, real tall. What a workout, four, sweating like mad. Four more, there's three, two to go, one more. This time, hold the leg, face the front, both arms, pull them through. Little elbows, real strong. Keep them close to the body, so they're not loose. Strong movement. Let's do four more. Hang on, there's three. Two to go. One more. Last time. Remove the arms, start those legs, and march them down. Push them through. Bring them back together. Four more. And three, and two. Now single tap, right side first. We take it down, and side, and push. Down again, tap. This time, add the arm, strong back, go. Push and push. 
come. Put some effort in here. Push out that shoulder. Real strong. Four more. There's three. We've got two to go. One more. Last time. Again, march him down. March him down. Right left with those legs. Next move a bit tricky. Slow motion. Four and three and two. Watch my left leg. One, two, three. Just the shoulders. Up, two, other side. Go again. One, two, three, and four. Lift up. Now let's add some movement. Ready? Let's go. Push. One, two, three, four. Ready? Five, six, circle. Up. One, two. Arms up. Big circle. Go. Wheel. And pull. Arms up. Circle. Up. Again. One. And reach. Circle it. And pull. One. Again. Reach tall. Last time. Okay, hold him there. Just the leg. Take him down. Spot it through. One more tricky one to go. Four and three. Right leg. Watch where I go with it. One. And behind. Up and behind. Stay on this movement for a while. Just get the feel. When you're feeling strong, add both arms to the front. One to the back. And pull down and back. Really giving that leg a great workout. Especially around the glutes area. Hip and thighs. Four. Come on, pull those arms down. One to the back. Three to go. There's two. One more to go. This time, hold both legs down. Just a toe tap, little tap. Tap him out. Whoa. Have a rest. That's enough. Ready? Four and three. Other side. Have you got it? Let's go. Up and back. Up. Start with one arm. Get that confidence built up. Are you ready? Let's go. Effort. Pull and back. And pull. Wow, what a workout. This sweat is ripping. Four more. Come on. There's three. Two more. One more. Last one. We deserve some oxygen. Let's take it down. March him through. Bring those legs back together. You can see a workout is happening. Big breath. Up and down. Again, lift tall. Up and down. One more. Take it right up. And hold him down. Just those shoulders. Now we're going to really work into the front of our thighs. I want you to hold your hips lower to the floor. Tap to the back. Just the legs. Push back. Come on, you can see these muscles working. Great for turning up those hip and thighs. Really hard. Four more. And three. Two more. Let's work into the back of our arms. Triceps. Take your back. And push. Remember, a towel's probably a good idea during exercise. I'll just use my hand, excuse me. As you can see, this is a working. Push back. Four to go. Strong arms. There's three. Come on, two to go. One more. Now let's lift our knees for four counts. Ready? Right one. Push. One. And two, take it behind, tap back, push out. Remember, tummy's in. I don't want to see this down, looking down. No, no, straight ahead. Great posture here. Push. Come on, work those bodies. Let's go again. Cross. And two, and three. Punch back, strong. Push. Come on, think of muscles. Real strong. Up. And two. Again, tap back. Shoulder square. Come on, feel the muscles. Your heart should be going boom, boom, boom. That's the whole idea. Two more. One more. Now take a squat to your right side. No arms. Wash. Down. And down. Inside of our thighs. Outside of our thighs. Back work. Let's go. Reach. And pull. Reach. Strong one. Up. Ready to speed it up. Four, three. Let's go. Push. Wendy's going to come back with some great high-low combinations. down and a drink of water and you're ready for some high-low combo exercise. I'm going to teach you some very simple arm work first of all. Pull up, in, lift and again. Pull up, in, lift and down. So you pull up, squeeze the elbows, say your prayers and sweep it down. Lift, in, stretch, two more. Pull, in, it's going to get faster. Up, two, let's do some upright rows. Pull and 
down, plain upright rows. Combine that with the arm combination slowly. Lift, in, two upright rows. Pull and down, again, slowly. Combination, in, up, upright rows. Lift and down, double time, let's try. One, two, three, four, pull, pull. Lift, two, three, four, pull, again. Lift, two, three, four, pull. Last time, lift, two, three, four. Forget the arms, just march it out. We're gonna put a combination together with some marches, some toe taps. Move back just a little bit. Forward eight. One, two, three, four, five. Toe tap down, out, two. March backwards again. March, two, three. Do a double knee lift up. One knee, other side. Forward again, eight steps. One, two, three, four, five. Toe tap down. Stretch, two, three. Take it back. One, two, three. Double knees up. Lift, two, forward. Step it out. One, two, three, four. Toe tap, side. Stretch, increase your intensity, add a little bit of bounce. Back, two, three. Double knee. Arm lifting up. Forward again, let's go. One, two, three, four. Toe taps. Stretch out, don't lean forward. And back. Arms pump. Double knee. Lift up. I've added a little crossover. One, two, three, four. Toe taps, side. Out, two, three. Take it back, use your arms. Shopping bag arms. Knee with a cross. Up, cross over. Forward again, let's go. One, two, three, four. And tap down. Right out, stomach's in tight. Push it down. Pump. Double knees up. Add a little spring. March forward. Pump it hard. Toe tap. Out. Two, three, and back. One, two, three. Double knee up. Lift it up. And jog forward now. Jog. Two, three, four. Low impact down. Touch. Touch. Heels. Pump it back. Heels. One, two, three. Double knees up. Lift up and over. Jog forward. Jog. Two, three, four, five. Keep your chest high as you tap low. Pump with heels. Push. Double knees up. Lift. Two. Let's march it out. The arms and legs are going. Let's remind ourselves about that arm combination. Lift. In. Up. Double time. One, two, three, four. Add it to a little jog. Lift. Two, three, four. And easy. Two more. Up. And relax. Upright row. Pull. And pull. One arm combination, then upright row. Lift. Two row. Combination. Two row. Move back just a touch. Lift. Two row. Let's move forward. One, two, three, and four. Toe tap to the side. back. One, two, three. Sink into your knees. Doubles up. Lift over and down. Forward. Let's go. Lift, squeeze, over and pull. Toe taps. Low. Use your legs. Three heels back. One, two, three. And knees up. Over we go. Have you got it? Let's push now. Lift, two, three, pull. Toe tap down. knees up. The whole thing one more time. Let's go. Pull. One, two, three, and up. Toe tap down. Touch. Two, three. Take it all the way back. Remember, push your heels down. Double knee. Over two. Let's go into single knees up. Single knees with a bicep curl. Light and easy. Four, three. Double knee up. Same arms. Over the top. Single knees. Four, Two, double knee up. Over you go. Single knees. All right, one double, two single. Two single. One double on the right. Singles, double on your left. Singles, think. Ooh, ooh. Hup, hup, hup. Ooh, ooh. Hup, hup, hup. If you talk to yourself,
yourself. You'll get the hang of it. Hop, hop, hop. Ooh, ooh. Hop, hop, hop. Last time, move back just a touch. From the very beginning, jogging forward. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Toe tap down. Out, two. Heels move all the way back. Pull. Double knee up. Lift over. Single knees up. And double. Singles. One double. Singles. One double. Hey, hey, hey. Pull through from the top. Jog forward. Here we go. Toe tap low. Remember deep breathing, stomach's in. Pull it back. You can keep it all low impact if you wish. And knees. Over. Single knee curl. One double left. One double right, singles, one double, last time singles, and double, from the top, let's go, pull, squeeze, and tap low, breathe out, low impact, pull it back, shrug, double knee, lift it, over the top, single curl up, pull, double, you're nearly there. Pumping, winding down just a touch. Great vine to your right. Let's go. Out, two, three. Out, two, three. Out, two, three. Watch my arms swim through. Sweep one arm, sweep the other side. Stretch out, open your chest. Easy breath. Stretch out, stretch out. Do one more. One step in place. Great vines. One more grapevine, two one steps. One, two, grapevine. So you have three grapevines. Two one steps. Step, touch, step, touch, swim out. Swim out. Step, touch, hold this on the spot. Just easy step, touch, arms up, down, cross, low. Time marching. One, two, three, four. Strong now. Stretch, pull, in. Stretch, pull, in. We're going to put that into our grapevine combo. Grapevine, right. One of these. Arm combination. One step. Easy clap. Swim. Out. Again. Arm combination. One step with a clap. Swim. Again. Arm combination, and hit it. Swim, stretch out. Easy breathing, chest up. Use that combination. Two more. Swim out. Feel that beat. Up, down, cross it. Last time, let's do it. Stretch out. Sweep it out. Arms lift, two, three, four, and march in place, everybody. Lift up. Stomach's in, heads high, breathe. Stretch out, shake it down. Please warm yourself down and get ready for June with some standing leg work. Before we commence with some standing leg exercises, let's make sure your body posture is in a correct position. Start with your knees and your feet sitting underneath the hips, squeezing gently into the buttocks, holding that lower tummy in. Placing your hands just on the side of the hips, we're going to start with some basic squatting exercises. This particular exercise will help to tone into the muscles of the thighs around the butt and especially the front of the legs. Now if you do have any knee injuries or a bit of a lower back problem, take it easy all the way through. If you are starting to experience any pain or discomfort, stop the exercise. Take a squat and down. Just allow your body to flex forward slightly, but no more than 15 degrees. It just feels natural for you to allow that shoulder to come forward. Take it up and down. Now remember to squeeze the bottom on the way up. Squeezing tightly, good. And also the other thing to remember on the way up, 
try to avoid rolling the shoulders to the back. You want to keep it in one position. Press up and down. Quite intense leg exercises we have for you. So do as much as you can. Feel free to have a rest whenever you need to. Muscles will take a little bit of time to be conditioned, but you've got lots and lots of time. Just work on that posture control. Press it down, squeezing tightly into your bottom. Let's do eight, squat it, and seven, and six. Press your fingers into that tummy. Make sure that lower tummy area is contracted all the way through. And you've got four more. Lift it one, and two, and three. The next lot of exercises going to be lifting the leg out to the side. Be sure to place the foot back to where it was before. And again, the body weight coming down on top of both legs as you move back into your squatting position. Working into the muscles along the side of the hip. A little bit of inner thigh work there because the leg is adducting downwards. So it goes up and down, up and down. Avoid turning the foot up towards the ceiling. Try to keep the toes pointing directly towards the front. Think of lifting into the side of the leg, with the side of the leg. Squat it, squat it. Easy, find a breathing pattern that's comfortable for you. Exhale, you may wish on the way down or on the way up. Press and up, down. Keep it moving there, smoothly all the way through. Body tall as you stand on one leg. Not too high with a lifting one. And eight, squeeze it up. Seven, reach, six, five, feeling it, four, and three, and two. One more on this side, press, go back to your squats again. Take it down and lift up. Now cross your arms, place your hands just in front of the shoulders. Imagine there's a stool underneath your bottom. You just want him to sit down on top of that stool and squeeze the bottom on the way up. Squeeze it by rolling the hips under. Eight more, down, exhale, two, exhale, three, and four. You're almost there, five, up, six, and up, seven. Last time, take a little march on the spot, releasing it. Allow the hips to swivel from side to side, and five, and six, seven. Now this next exercise will help to strengthen the muscles surrounding the hip. You may wish to hold on to a chair to help with your balance. Now stand on your right foot, place the other foot against the inside of the knee. You're going to push that hip out and squeeze under. Squeeze under. A fairly strong exercise, so do take it easy. Just gently pushing that hip out to the side and then roll under with a nice tight squeeze into your butt. Eight and seven, six, five, steady, four, three, two, little march on the spot. Release it. Let it go into those hips. That's five. And six. Ready for this other leg. Stand up tall. Hang on to that balance. Push out. The standing knee, keep it in the bent position, or just a slight soft position. Don't straighten the leg, otherwise you may have a tendency to lock the knee. So keep it bent. Four, three, just one more set. Here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, and eight. Here we go. Take a march on the spot. Better for you to hang on to a chair. Keep pushing and push. Now take the feet out to the side. This time, allow your knees to open, toes as well out to the side. You're going to squat down for three beats and roll the hips under on the fourth. Press, press, and press. Roll it under and take it down again. Now look at those knees for a moment. Are they rolling inwards? If they are, reposition your legs. Push it down, two. You might want to point your toes and knees just a little closer to the front. And roll under, take it down here. And roll it under, four more. Press, 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 again. Squat it. Two to go. Down here, Woo. again. One, and the last time, everybody. Press it down, down. Now hold this position, point your toes, look back. And turn the other way. Okay, now swing those hips along. Swing it side, push it out. Six, seven little presses coming from those hands, gentle. 
Wendy's got some great exercises. Continue firming up into those legs and some floor exercises. Keep moving. Let's get into some more leg work now and some derriere work as well. Starting off on the knees and elbows, your knees are slightly apart underneath your hips. Lower your elbows down and lift your abdominals up nice and tight. Release, lift. I'd like to loosen the tension off in your lower back, help correct your posture before we start working out with those legs. Pull through, release and pull. Four, three, that's two. Please take one leg behind you, stretch it out behind. Lift the stomach muscles and your leg, hamstring curls, pulling in. Easy in and down, let's do four. Pull in one, stretch, two. And number three. Now knee to your chest, take it underneath and rest back with your heel. Push through, all the way back, four hamstring curls. Curl in one, and two. Keep thinking of lifting your stomach muscles up. One more, knee to your chest, suck it in tight, push your heel all the way back, push out, two of each, let's go, curl in, stretch, and under, lift, pull, and pull, two more times, in, in, and for the bottoms, push through, everybody stretch back, hands all the way out, bottoms back, and release, back to where we started, elbows down, knees apart, lift and release, stomach muscles up, don't forget a good position for your head, one fist placed on top of the other, forehead down, please keep your neck relaxed and in line with your spine, lift, leg back, hamstring curl, four, out, three, out, two, ready for the change? Knee to chest, pull and push. Please work very hard through your backside muscles and curl in. Four, three, two, and one. Think of toning and tightening. In, push. Two of everything. Curl one, out, two, out, pull and push. Two again, pull, stretch, underneath, last set, pull back, stretch yourself out, chest forward, relax down, and release, working a little bit more into the pelvic area and the buttocks, swing yourself around, roll down carefully, spine flat, feet slightly apart, toes turned in a little bit, bottom up and release, keep it tight. Squeeze that bottom through. Think of keeping your back flat, stomach muscles pulling in. Lift a little higher combination. Up, squeeze, out and down. Lift, press, out and down. You're working through your buttocks. Pinch them hard and also think of inner thigh work. Lift and push through. Remember your outer thigh muscles are postural muscles. They're working all the time. Inner thigh needs just that little bit of extra work, so concentrate now. Two more sets, up, squeeze, out and down, lift, squeeze, let's take everything over to one side, cross one leg over, knee out to the side, hands relaxed, bottoms push and lower. Don't arch your back, don't push all your weight up onto your shoulders, keep your stomach muscles pulling in. Concentrating on just one leg and squeeze your buttocks hard, push and squeeze, pinch it in and down, two more. Up, lower, feet together, keep that going, push, down, push, two more, ready for the change, other leg over, lift, down, make sure your knees placed out to the side, ankle across, squeeze, down, only four more to go, and tight, breathe out, three, 
two, three together, bottoms up, four, release, three, release, two, and one, bottoms down, feet slightly apart again, roll your toes in, knees together, hold them tight, push double time squeezes. Your buttocks are pinching hard, remember super glue on the inner thighs, grip them together hard, and keep pushing. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Hold your hips up, open and close. Take it slow first. Out, squeeze, out, squeeze. Try not to add too much hip lifting. Hold the hips steady, just think of the thighs. Open, squeeze, open, squeeze. Press that out. Please keep your legs working. Take a few deep breaths and we're ready for Brett with some great abdominal exercises. What a great back workout. Join me now for some abdominals. Let's take our heels up to our lower back and gently take the shoulders right down. As you can see, there's about only a two inch gap between the heels and the bottom. because so we want to make sure that lower back is forced down to the floor. Take the hands behind the head here. Take the shoulders down and crunch up on a single beat. Up and down. Squeeze up and down. Now make sure you are fully concentrating on squeezing the abdominal muscles. So the muscles that are sitting on the top of your stomach are your abdominals. You can actually feel them. If you place a hand on top, you can feel them working. Make sure you keep those elbows in right back and keep your eye direction out over the top of your knees. So it's a smooth and controlled movement. Let's do eight more. And up and down. Make sure you're controlling your breathing throughout the movement also. Up and down. Up. Four more. And three. And two. And one. This time, have a quick stretch. Just push the shoulders out. You can automatically feel the abdominals starting to lengthen. Again, let's start the movement. Up we go. Squeeze one, and down, and two, and down. You really feel those abdominals. Come on, contract up and contract back. Up. Make sure you sort of don't lift up and drop down. The muscles work both ways. Lifting the body up and lowering the body down. Squeeze and back. Four more. There's three, two to go, one more. This time, count two beats up. Ready, so it's one, two, and then down for two. Again, strong for two, and down. Make sure you control those shoulders and don't let those elbows creep forward. We don't want to use momentum. We want to use abdominal strength. Again, up. Let's take it back to the singles for four counts. One, and down. There's two, two to go. Three, once more for the doubles. Two up, two down. One, two, and down. Again, control, push. One more set of singles. Let's do it. One, and back. There's two, two more singles. One more, doubles. Last time, up, and down. One more, push it up. This time, hold the shoulders down, just the pelvic tilt. Squeeze it up, and down and up. Now really concentrate on your lower abdominals this time. Muscles down towards the groin. Squeeze up and down. Four more. There's three and two. Let's start the shoulders. Hold the pelvic and up and down. Two to go. One more. And now the pelvic tilt. Squeeze it up and down. Two to go. One more. This time we combine the two moves. We take it. One, two, roll down on the count of four. One, two, squeeze down for four. So it becomes upper, lower, and then down together. So squeeze, pull, and down together. Again, contract, pull, and down. Working full range of movement through those abdominals. Let's do four more. There's three, up, and down. Last one, up and take a stretch. Point those toes, shoulders right over the top. Again, lengthen out those abdominals. 
four, and three, and two. This time, another stretch over the top, hands around the shins, squeeze down for four, and three, and two. This time, placing the heels down, shoulder width apart. Again, hands down to the side of the body, reach through and back, and up. Make sure the palm of your hand is pointing upwards, working down through your obliques, squeeze it up. Make sure you take the shoulder right down and pulse. Squeeze. And down and up and down. Four more, three, and there's two to go. One more, up, last set coming in now. Five, six, this time elbow over the top. Take it over, other side, up and back, over. Again, still working down the side of our waist for our oblique muscles. Four more, three, two to go, one more. This time out, stretch your arm, stretch it all the way over and back. And on top, take the direction of your hand to the outside of your knee. Making sure you're getting a proper pull right through the waist. Four more, there's three and two, back to the elbow. Let's go again, stretch up and down, up. Two more with the elbow, last time. Out, reach the arm, stretch, push, and back. Again, and back, and two, one more. This time, two of each, two elbows. One, and down. Out, reach the arm this time, push. Again, back to the elbow, lift the shoulder right up. Not just the elbow, again, stretch, out, and back. Two more sets of each, elbows, up, and down, out reach the arm for the last time. This time, take it back to both elbows, stretch it through, up and down, squeeze, walk those feet back in together, hold those heels together. Eight more, squeeze up and down. You may like to actually place your hand on top, feel the muscles working. Four more, there's three and two and one. Let's have another stretch here. Again, point those toes, Really pull out the abdominals, let the blood get in there. This time coming up, gently coming up through the body, turning around, let's take it down. Now onto our stomach and our abdominals, just relax down. Again, another stretch for the lower abdominals, just pull the tummy right up and relax down. Try not to squeeze the bottom, just the abdominals. Again, up and down. Two more, stretch it up and down. Last time, take it up and down. Let's now do a bit of lower back work. Take the elbows each side of the body. Keep the neck down in line. Hold the elbows out. All we do is squeezing up and down and up and down. Make sure the neck stays in line with the lower back. Avoid arching the head up and looking forward. Try and concentrate and look straight down. Up and back. Squeezing into the upper back and slightly into the lower back. Four more and three. Extend the elbows forward this time. Reach it out and back. And push and back. Four and three and two elbows to the side. One more. Up and back again. Squeeze. Two more. Right up. Last time. Again, pull in the abdominal. Stretch it. Up and down. Up and down. It's like reverse pelvic tilt. Stretching. Four more. There's three to go, two more. We'll do one more set of back work also. Last time, again, elbows to the side. Let's go, lifting up and down and up. Imagine your nose has been super glued to the floor. The eyes stay directly looking down. Four more, number three, two to go. And one more. Now extend the elbows to the front, push, reach, and back, control, and pull. We'll do four more. There's three, two to go, one more. Last time, again, let's take a stretch. This time, placing the palms down, pull up through the abdominals, push the weight back over your heels. Again, stretching the upper body and back. Again, coming back down onto the bottom once more, turn the heels around, back to our first position, roll him down, nice and gently. We've worked the upper, the middle, the side, let's work the lower abdominals now. Hands down, palms to the floor, heels together, squeeze up and down. Again, concentrate on pulling those muscles that are around near the belly button there. 
crunch. Up and down. Four more. You may like to place the hands underneath your lower back. Again, that will support your spine. Four more. And up. Squeeze. Think of the muscles. Pulling in tight and extending back. Four to go. There's three and two. This time, heels right down. Alternate the legs. Take it up and back and up. Once more, place the hands this time beside the face on the temples and elbows crunching up and down. Try to avoid using momentum or a swinging action taking place. Think of those abdominals controlling through. Four more. There's three. Two to go. Let's now increase the intensity by holding the legs up. Keep the upper body movement going. And back. You can feel the difficulty coming in already. We've made our movement larger, so therefore more intense. Four more. There's three. Two to go. One more. Again, take the elbows out to the side, alternate across the top. And back. An advanced oblique workout coming in now. Push and back. Back to the center for four. Take it one, two, three. Take it to the side. Elbows up and two and three and four. Take it up and two. Take it to the side. Right over. Push. Remember, if you find it's a little bit difficult, you can take the heels down and work up to your goal later on. Again, side up and push. One more set, then we deserve a stretch. Four, three, last time across the body. That's five and six and seven. Again, stretch it out. Point those toes. Big stretch, lengthen it out. Get that oxygen into the body. Take it back, heels up to the lower back. Again, pelvic tilt, take it up. Drew's now going to finish off our workout with a great cool down and stretch. Your muscles have been worked and shortened, so let's stretch them out. We'll begin with the side of the neck, taking the head over, gently relaxing into the opposite shoulder. Now drop the chin across, gently over onto this side. Hold it right here. Bring your head up. Pull your shoulders behind. Feel between the shoulder blades contracting, opening up into the chest. This is the area you're stretching into now. Now round your shoulders. Feel the stretch now working between the shoulder blades. Release it. Open up your feet. Take your left arm up towards the ceiling as you breathe in. Exhale, leaning into the bent knee and allow the other leg to straighten. Let it go, come back through the center. Right arm, take a breath, inhale, slow, enjoy it. Over to the side. And come back through the center. Stay down in a squat, both arms, reach it up. And exhale, two more. Pressing the palms together, high up above the head. And take it down to the side. Turning slightly into a 45 degree angle. Lean back into the bent knee for a lovely hamstring stretch. Check to see the front foot is positioned down. Knee is soft. Now standing up tall, working the stretch into the hip flexor area. The back heel is down on the ground and the body weight is centered. Bring the legs a little closer in. Go down on top of both knees, both of them in the bent position. Taking the stretch into the calf muscle. Pull that lower tummy in. Hold it five and six, seven and eight. Over we go onto this side. Hamstring stretch, lean down into the bent knee. And roll the body up, press through with the hip flexor, a nice little squeeze into that bottom, pushing that back foot into the ground. And release it. Legs a little closer in, down with the body weight, even on top of both legs. Tummy in. And release it, stretching to the side of the hip. Take your right leg behind you, lean down into that front knee, avoid rolling inwards. Stay on top of that ankle and come upright. Take the other leg behind. Gentle stretch there. Hold it five and six, seven and eight. Release it. Take one leg out in front. Flex into that forward foot. Body stays up a little higher. Bring the hands together. Push the back of the hands towards the front. Round once again in between the shoulder blades. Legs together and press back, squeezing tightly, opening up into the chest. Repeat that stretch on the other side. Press forward and hold. Release it, open back, feet together, press back. 
little presses there opening into the back. Avoid arching that lower spine. You want to keep your buttocks under with a little squeeze into the side of the thighs. Continue pressing back. And that's five and six, seven and eight. Step in with the legs apart. Breathe in. Take the arms down. Shoulder rows begin with the right back, left back and right. Both knees in a bent position. Roll it back and back. Last one, let's take the arms up again, a breath in and out, shoulder rolls to the front, round and round, avoid lifting the elbows up too high, just keep the elbows fairly low, work between the shoulders, and five, six, seven, eight, take the arms up again, and release it down, this time, just feel that gentle stretch to the side of the torso keeping the spine fairly long and centered. Allow one hand to slide up between the sides of the ribs and the other one is gently sliding down towards the knee. Now add into the legs, lunges over. Dynamic stretching over here. That's five and six, seven. Placing your hands on your hips and just continue stretching into those legs. Easy over. Take them out just that little bit wider. Continue moving for four more. Over we go, one, and two, and that's three. Last time, everybody, come back through the center with a squat. Breathe in, arms up. Exhale, take it down here into a squat. Round the back, roll the hips under, and hold the stretch. Again, all the way up, straighten your legs, squeezing tightly into the buttocks. Take it down, hold it here, round the back. Position, focus your attention towards the ground. And let's try that one more time, all the way up. Exhale, strong. Round the back, hold it here. Point your toes and knees to the front. We're gonna take a round and a gentle arch back. And a round and an arch back. That's five and six. Continue working through the hips, straighten up your spine, place your hands back on your hips again. Roll under, squeeze back, and under, squeeze back, and under, squeeze back. And don't forget, if you want to vary your workout, make sure you try our Aerobics Oz style stepping out video. Keep rolling under, that's five, and six, seven, and eight. Now we're gonna circle those hips around. Easy circle. Let's go the other way, round and round. Hope that you can join us again real soon. Yeah.